Earlier this year, my right honourable friend, the Prime Minister, set out that the United Kingdom's uncoupling from the rules, regulations and institutions of Brussels was never simply about the moment of our departure. The act of Brexit was not an end in itself, but the means by which our country will achieve great things. Now that we have left the European Union, the sovereignty of Parliament has been restored, and we are free once again to legislate, regulate or deregulate as this sovereign Parliament redux pleases. As we maximise the benefits of Brexit and transform the UK into the most sensibly regulated economy in the world, we must reform the EU law we have retained on our statute book. Only through reform of this retained EU law will we finally be able to untangle ourselves from nearly 50 years of EU membership. I am pleased to announce that today we publish an authoritative catalogue of over 2,400 pieces of legislation spanning over 300 individual policy areas. This catalogue will be available on gov.uk through an interactive dashboard. It will be updated on a quarterly basis so that the public can count down retained EU law as the Government reforms it. I would like to commend the Cabinet Office officials who developed this dashboard. It is a fascinating resource in its own right, of both political and, in my view, historic constitutional importance. This dashboard, I hope, is an opportunity to tackle hundreds of matters which might seem marginal on their own, but each of these measures in the margin will combine to usher in a revolution. Not a French-style revolution with blood running in the streets and the terror of the guillotine, but a British-style revolution whereby marginal improvements moving inch by inch so that soon we've covered the feet and the feet become yards and the yards become chains and then furlongs and miles until the journey is complete. With inflation running high, we need to search everywhere and every stone and sofa cushion for supply-side reforms that make products and services cheaper make things easier for business and ultimately grow the economy and cut the cost of living. This dashboard, therefore, is the supply-side reformer's El Dorado, and naturally I am pointing to the treasure trove of opportunity this publication represents. It highlights unnecessary and disproportionate EU regulations on consumer goods, such as those regulating the power of vacuum cleaners, why should that trouble Her Majesty's Government or the expensive testing requirements mandated by REACH on the plastics which make up items we use every day, which shut out the newest and most innovative materials? Thankfully, we left the EU before it decided to mandate what sort of phone chargers we can have, a typically short-termist and anti-innovation measure which will only have a long-term negative effect on consumers. The dashboard includes the overbearing reporting requirements which adds costs to businesses and slows down progress, be it on building new developments in areas which need housing most, or making it more expensive to hire people at a time of labour shortage and to respond to militant strikers. We will continue working with departments to cut at least a billion pounds of business costs from EU red tape to ensure greater freedoms and productivity Ensuring we have the right regulation is crucial. Excessive and unnecessary regulations which burden business or distort market outcomes reduce productivity, pushing up prices and negatively affecting everyone's cost of living. The publication of this dashboard will mark a pivotal step towards reforming our statute book and those 2,400 pieces of retained EU legislation ahead of introducing the Brexit Freedoms Bill. The Brexit Freedoms Bill allows the United Kingdom to take the next step in reclaiming the sovereignty of Parliament. The Bill will address the EU Withdrawal Act, which preserved and incorporated too much EU-derived law at too high a status, giving much of it the same status as an Act of Parliament itself. This is clearly mistaken and means that many changes to retained EU law require primary legislation. Undoing this vandalism to our constitutional order, policy area by policy area, would dominate the legislative agenda for parliaments to come. Brexit Freedoms Bill will create a targeted power to allow retained EU law to be amended in a more sustainable way and goes with the grain of the British Constitution.